finished up this cardio session. I'm about 39 minutes in. I was just gonna do 35 minutes, but I just added a few more minutes. And the convenience of having your own Stairmaster at your own place is amazing. This is an actual Stairmaster that I got maybe a few weeks ago, and I utilized it for my Tampa Pro Show. And super nice, as you saw, it automatically has like a safety feature where your line crosses like these little lasers, it'll automatically like um, stop. And the heart rate pulse thing is really accurate. Funny story though, when I did get this Stairmaster, they had to drop it outside of my apartment complex in a big wooden box. So it was like kind of like a mission to bring it in. It was easy to assemble to be honest. It took me like 30 minutes and it, it works really good. It's a pretty quality Stairmaster, but long story short, I remember I had to break through this box. I actually timed it as if it was like a cardio session because it was out in the heat. Obviously here in Florida, it's super hot. And I was on prep too. So I broke down the box and then I had to like push this whole entire big um, bottom piece of the Stairmaster. I'm pretty sure it's like four or 500 pounds. And uh, yeah, I mean, I got it done within like 20, 30 minutes. So it was a pretty easy process, but I just couldn't believe how easy it was to, you know, assemble it all and have it all, you know, active and going. But uh, yeah, it's a really pretty solid Stairmaster. If you guys are interested in getting one, I'll leave a link in my description box below so you guys can check it out. Highly recommend it, especially if you don't have the time to make it to the gym or you want to start implementing faster cardio. You want Because for me, like I just did this session, I can immediately have my breakfast within the next, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. Whereas if I'm at the gym, it's like, just the whole process of getting ready for the gym, going out there, driving there, getting it going, and then coming back. It's like, you save so much time just having cardio equipment at your own place. And that's something I realized once I got the Stairmaster. So highly recommend it. And um, I'm definitely gonna be utilizing it in my you know, program when I'm preparing for competitions or just even in the off season. But we'll talk more about that in a, in a bit. I'm probably gonna have breakfast and then, uh, yeah. What the heck is Bubba doing, bro? Oh shit, oh shit. Oh. Bugging, bro. Alright guys, this is like obviously my first feeding of the day. I like to start the day with some greens and then I have my fiber and immunity uh, supplement drink in here. Also got a cup of coffee, but then you know obviously I have a nice bowl of oats. So what I'm gonna do is two scoops of protein from uh, Gorilla Mine for my breakfast, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one scoop inside the oatmeal and I'm gonna do Another scoop, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use half a scoop in here, like this. So it's like one and a half scoops in the oatmeal, and then I have to put the other half scoop in my coffee. Because the thing is, if you use too much protein powder, it gets pretty chalky, and you want the texture to be, you know, very consistent. And then I like to add some almond butter. This is organic almonds grounded, and it comes out pretty good. Got it from Whole Foods. That in there, creamer and blueberries. Blueberries. Yeah, this is <clears throat> the first meal. I put the blueberries on top because he said it looks more aesthetic, which I disagree with. Because look, look how this looks, right? But let's say you have it like all stirred up like this. Watch. I feel like this is way more aesthetically pleasing. What you guys think? Damn, you right. You right? <laughs> but yeah, um, I just wasn't in the mood to eat eggs or like chicken or anything like that. So like, you know, a bowl of oatmeal to kickstart today would be an easy way for me to <clears throat> get the meal in. I did finish competing at the Tampa Pro on Friday. Today is Tuesday. So I got back here on Sunday and um, to reflect back on everything, I would say, uh, you know, I think overall, I didn't look, you know, 
at my best at all. I felt like I was holding so much water. And obviously, you know, if you see the show day video, I talk about how much water I was holding up from the drive and the hard carb up. And uh, it was just not enough time to pull all the water out. Like, I feel like even right now, I feel like I'm drier in a sense than I was on that Wednesday before the show. And, um, you know, me and Ariel, my coach, we try to use way, like we use a lot of different tricks to try to pull as much water as we could out. But all in all, it's like, you know, when you're doing something like, something like that on peak week and you're trying to look your best, like it's gonna be really hard to look your best doing these little things. So I think, you know, my mistake was to, my mistake was making that drive up on the high carb day and I felt like it really stressed me out because I remember I had like one hour left on the GPS and I remember just thinking to myself like, damn, this is mad hard. I feel mad tired, but like I have to finish this drive. So I just muscled through it, you know, and didn't really, really think too, I mean, I was already on the way there. I had no choice though. Muscled through it, got there like 4 a.m. And then I'm like, okay, I have to go ahead and get my schedule squared away for the week because I want to make sure I'm waking up at a certain time and getting my meals in at a certain time. So then by the time it's show day, everything is aligning. But then with that, with getting at 4 a.m. and then waking up at 10, I'm underslept after, you know, all that whole entire stressful situation of driving up. I feel, I feel like my body was stressed out. So, you know, wake up. I think I had a meal and then went to the gym. So it's like even more stress on the body. So when I look back on all of it, um, I definitely stressed the crap out of my body. And I think it obviously was not my best look. And also I just think when I do shows where I peak and then I deplete just to peak again, just to deplete just to peak again, I don't think it's really my best look. So I'm deciding to probably just rest my body for now. And uh, I mean, I have a goal still. I, I do want to compete again probably before the end of the year. But I think uh, with the progress I've made and how my body transformed from this year to last year, I'm really happy about that. But in terms of competition, I think obviously I could have done way better in terms of my uh, approach to peak week and stuff. And a lot of that is my fault, you know, like like traveling at, you know, the Tampa, for Tampa Pro, I should have, scheduled it a lot better because you know obviously i probably wouldn't hold as much water but these are things i'm learning from this experience and i'm just trying to explain to you guys and also in texas i remember flying in like i think i, I didn't fly in as early as i should have so i think when i fly for competitions now i have to get there like on a monday to play safe because it seems like the travel aspect is like something that has been a burden to me, especially since my body's in a you know lean state, I think any stressors that can add into the mix, it can really be detrimental to me. And that's something I learned. So I think moving forward, I have to get to the competition area ahead of time to get my body like acclimated and squared away for that one weekend. Just got to the gym, we're going to the gym today. We do, uh, I kind of want to start off with Barbell Rows because that gets my heart rate to like a peak. And then uh, usually once I get that peak in my heart rate, the workout just flows so much better. But I think I'm going to warm up for a good 10 to 15 minutes of uh, shoulders, get my lats warmed up. And then let's say we hit Barbell Rows and then uh, probably either shoulder press machine or dumbbell shoulders. But my goal is to try to hit three, four exercises for each uh, muscle group, back and shoulders.
He's definitely just wearing Mac allergies right there. That was way too heavy. But yeah, my minor muscle connection on that one was not that good. Eagle lifting. Yeah. I think the first few were good, but the last few, I kind of just muscled it. When I think about it, I usually can't get it. Anyway, I'm, if I'm thinking about counting it, I'm gonna stop at like nine. I'm gonna try to go for 11, I'm gonna go for 11, 11. Game 11, third set. You got it. How many was that? What's up? How many was that? I think I think I counted 12. 12? I think. Shit, rewind. How many was that? So we counted 13. So I did more than needed. It's probably because I had more food in me. Usually I'm like depleted. Mm -hmm. I guess like my my counting skills is off. But damn, you gotta put all those weights back, dude. Bro. Yeah. Damn, we're only 66. Time's going slower now. Damn. Time's going slow. So we got at least two more sets. Two more sets? Yeah. Yeah. Underhand grip feels pretty good. When we got underhand grip, I can feel a good contraction in like my like lower back, but I don't, you can't go too heavy. Just keep, once you feel that tension kind of locked in, you kind of want to just ride it out. It feels good. We got five seconds. 70 minute workout, I'll take it. Get some gains, bro. I'm all over this, bro. <laughs> Probably gonna get steak, beef, eggs, water. And then, what else do I need? Maybe some bananas, too. And then, what else do I need? I kind of just go by what I see, and then I usually get an idea on what I need, and I just grab it then. But they're literally closing in like 10 minutes, so we gotta be quick. Some serene. Three ninety nine two five. Pretty much came here to get steak, chicken, and water. The reason why I go to Costco though, because I just love the quality of the the meat. 
you know what I mean? It's not too far of a drive too, it's like 18, 20 minutes. I could always go Whole Foods too, but I like to get like a good amount because I eat a lot. But uh, usually the water lasts me a good two to three days and then I'll probably make, actually no. I have six gallons here, so this probably lasts me the week right here. So I'll probably make another trip on Sunday. And do the same thing again. But what am I about to eat when we get back? Steak? Yo, all you can eat sushi. Damn, should I? <laughs> I feel like I'll eat a lot right now. You know? Yeah. I feel like fruits help when I have that, like, cravings. I'm not trying to, like, splurge too bad. I mean, I have the oatmeal with, like, you know, the chocolate. Mm -hmm. But then also, like, sometimes I want something, like, sweet. I think honestly, I'm probably like dehydrated sometimes, and I think the fruit kind of just helps me. Like, fruit's hell expensive though. 13 bucks for a thing of fruit. It's good. It's because they set it up for you, but it's honestly worth it because it's bad. I must go out on a diet where I eat only just like red meat and then mad fruit. Like the fruit would be the carb source. How do you think it would look though? I know some people that do that. So, because it's like you have to eat so much fruit for it to be like in a surplus but I also think like I don't know I feel like your body absorbs the fruit differently than eating like oatmeal or and stuff you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. I don't know I don't think I probably <laughs> that, you know? sometimes if I don't want to eat like a big meal before training I'll just like snack on a few rice cakes I was prepping for nationals like this actually kind of helped me get through How much was that? Everything? Yeah. So, it was 78, but I saved 12 bucks because of the halo top. They saved 12 bucks from halo top. One time I saved like 30 bucks one time, dude. 30 bucks? Is buy one, get one with rice cakes, and I got like, I got like at least 10, 10, 10 rolls of rice cakes. But yeah, there's also, I, I almost made a goal to try to save as much as I can. And I think like, there was also like me laundry detergent that was on sale, so I, I remember I spent lesser than how much I saved. I think I probably spent like 32 bucks and then it said like saving was like like 30, 40. That was like the total of it. I was impressed. I was like, no way. But you almost have to catch that deal at a certain time of the week, which I, I forgot which day it was. But I go to the grocery store like all the time. to an all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue spot, but they also have sushi. And I'm gonna just go eat mode. Oops, two. And then, if you do this option, would you be able to get yeah. this too? Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, so I'll do those, boneless short ribs, ribeye steak. Can I do the marinade short ribs too? And then I'll do the bologna. Bologna, and then can also do the, mm, I, you could, no, I don't, I don't want to eat sushi. And then for sushi, can I do, um, can I order it without the cream cheese? Is that yeah. possible? Can I do the crunchy salmon with no cream cheese, um, one spicy crab, and then I'll do one Las Vegas, no cream cheese, please. And then I'll also do one of the yummy, yummy rolls with no cream cheese. So one, two, three, four. That's five rolls, right? Uh, crunchy salmon, Las Vegas, spicy crab, and yummy, yummy. Oh, that's four? Yeah. And then I guess, can I actually do two of the um, crunchy salmons with no cream cheese? So two yep. crunchy salmon total. And then uh, just... Okay, two two crunchy salmon, Las Vegas, spicy crab, and yummy. Spicy crab. Thank you. 
digging into the food. Um, the rolls don't look too heavy, so I definitely there I can eat all this food. The only question is, do they have MSG in here? Is it gonna, am I gonna get full quick? I don't know. I'm gonna see. It's steak, bro. You want me to cook it? Not a little bit, yeah. Get a burger after this, too? So you wanna get a burger after this? My head's getting too big. Right? <laughs> Whatever. Is this impressive for you at all? Or you, is, this ex is it impressive or expected? I, mean, I know you can eat. So it's expected? Yeah. I mean, it's like a nap ball there. That's pretty small. You got it, you got it, you got it. Wait, 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 wait. Huh. Burning, bro. Based on how that looked, how many calories do you think that was? Based on what? I want to see that's 5K. No way. What, 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 are you, what are you saying? What are you saying? I'd say each of these were 200, right? Mm -hmm. I had probably like four. So I'd say 800. I'd say the ribeye is probably like 800. Uh, let's say 600. So 800 plus 600. Okay. 1400. Okay. <clears throat> I'll say each roll of sushi is probably like, let's say 350. So 350 times five. 3500? I would say so. You know what I'm saying? You and I wash it? Yes, 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 sir. Not full? I'm not, I'm not like full, full. Damn. Like, I'm not buffet full, you know what I mean? Like, you know how you leave a buffet, you're like, oh. Yeah, like, yeah, you can barely walk. Yeah, I don't feel that way. Damn. Should I get a burger? <laughs> but it's kind of good, too, because I feel, like, good. Like, I'm not at the point where, like, I feel sick, or, like, I was forcing food. I felt like it was just enough, to be honest.